let's wind the clock back by a couple of years. Tata Motors managed to raise a lot of eyebrows when they pulled the wraps of the H5X concept at the Auto Expo in 2018. They managed to retain a lot of that interest when the production version, the Harrier, was launched in January 2019 at an extremely competitive price of 12.69 lakh to 16.25 lakh. While the Harrier managed to impress in terms of value for money, space and road presence, it had a few downfalls like the need for more power, the absence of an automatic transmission and some ergonomic issues. What we have with us today is the 2020 iteration of the Tata Harrier. So without further ado, let's take it for a spin and find out if it is any better. For the most part, the 2020 Harrier looks identical to its predecessor. The wide smiley grille, the sleek LED DRLs and the bottom mounted projector headlamps have all been carried forward from before. The bumper is now completely finished in black in comparison to the silver finish for the Foss kit plate and that's the only noticeable change to the front fascia. Along the sides, the ORVMs have been redesigned and made smaller and it also gets a new set of diamond cut alloy wheels, the same ones that were first seen on the buzzard concept. The rear remains more or less unchanged. On the inside, the 2020 Harrier is not too different from the model that was launched last year. The overall layout of the dashboard remains largely unchanged. It continues to get the 7 inch TFT display for the instrument cluster and that is absolutely informative and easy to read. In the center, you continue to have a 8.8 inch touchscreen unit that is intuitive to use, but it feels a little small when you consider the wide bezels that it has. Tata could have used a wider screen and used the negative space a lot better. A few small changes to the inside of the cabin have worked wonders in improving the overall ergonomics of the car. For instance, in the 2019 Harrier, the USB port under the climate control was tucked in too far inside. Tata has brought it forward and that makes things a lot easier. There's also another USB port in the central armrest and one for the passengers at the back. The 2020 Harrier also gets a panoramic sunroof that makes the cabin feel a lot more airier. The outgoing Harrier's massive ORVM really hampered the visibility from the driver's seat. A smaller ORVM on this 2020 iteration addresses that problem as well. Other changes include an electrically adjustable seat for the driver and an auto-dimming IRVM. In terms of space and comfort, the 2020 Harrier continues to be as impressive as the model before it. The Harrier will continue with the same 2-litre diesel motor as before, but as expected, this one has been updated to meet the BS6 emission norms. But the bigger difference is in the power output. While the older Harrier made 138 horsepower, this one makes 30 horses more. Torque rating, however, remains the same at 350 Nm. One of the biggest downsides of the 2019 Harrier was that its 138 bhp motor just didn't seem enough for the 1.7 ton car. Tata has managed to extract the additional power by fitting it with a larger turbo. Now that has increased the overall power to 8 ratio to more than 100 horses per ton. Now that really shows in the way the car performs. It accelerates a little more quickly and it is even a lot more comfortable maintaining higher speeds. That being said, with this update, the engine does feel a little more noisier inside the cabin, especially at lower speeds. The 2020 Harrier now also comes with a 6-speed automatic transmission. Now this one shifts absolutely smoothly in the drive mode as long as you're driving it sedately. It isn't a transmission that likes to be rushed. When you're driving it aggressively, you feel the need for quicker upshifts. Now that problem is somewhat addressed when you shift to the manual mode, but the shifts on the lever feel quite rubbery in that case. We also got a chance to experience the 2020 Harrier with the 6-speed manual transmission. Now the first thing you would notice about this particular car is just how light the clutch action is. It's almost petrol car-like. Coming to the transmission itself, it shifts precisely, the throws are shot and overall the engine and transmission combination puts the power down to the road a lot more better than the automatic transmission version. And by that virtue, it does a lot more justice to the increase in the power output. In the right quality department, the 2020 Harrier feels exactly like the old one and that's a great thing. Undulations and broken tarmac are tackled with great poise, especially when you're at speed. 
while tackling some larger potholes at lower speeds, the suspension does pass on the jerk to the occupants inside and it is accompanied by a cringeworthy thud. The suspension performs well even when you're pushing the car around corners. While the overall body control is good, the steering does steal some of the fun. Although it is on the heavier side, something that I personally like, there's a vagueness to the feel, especially when cornering, and that takes away some of the confidence. Tata has off late gained the reputation of building some of the safest cars in the country. Aside from front airbags and ABS with EBD, the 2020 Harrier now also gets ESP as standard. Considering that safety is given great importance at Tata, it is really surprising that the Harrier still doesn't get disc brakes on all four corners, especially considering that it could do with the improved performance. The 2020 Harrier is a good example of how small things make a huge difference. The repositioning of the USB port, the smaller ORVMs, the addition of the sunroof and the electric IRVMs are all signs that Tata is listening to its customers and that's an absolutely great thing. As far as the engine goes, the 170bhp tune is a much better fit for this car, especially in union with the 6-speed manual transmission. The automatic does well in the city, but the shifts could have been a lot more quicker when driving aggressively. The changes made to the 2020 Harrier then are steps in the right direction and it makes a much more stronger case for itself than ever before.